Hey everyone, how's it going? I just wanted to talk very briefly about my experience seeing Mr. Bungle, as well as Battles. Back in September of this year, I realized I also didn't make a video about this show for whatever reason. I guess uh, it just slipped my mind. Um, probably because it was so fucking incredible that uh, I just wasn't really thinking about anything else for the next day or so. Um, this was a, a really weird one for me because, you know, I've listened to Mr. Bungle for a really long time. I know their earlier stuff was really thrashy and that the avant-garde stuff came a bit later. Um, but the avant-garde stuff is the stuff that really introduced me to the band. That's the stuff that I really got into them for. So when they re-released the Raging Wrath of the Easter Bunny demo, completely re-recorded with Dave Lombardo and Scott Ian on drums and guitar, respectively, um, I wasn't really sure, like, what to expect, because, like, it, it kind of shocked me, you know, that album is really good, it's one of the best thrash metal records I've heard in, uh, in quite a while, um, despite the fact that it's mostly stuff that was, you know, written back in the 80s, uh, or, or the 90s, I guess, I'm not really sure when that's originally from, and maybe, like, somewhere around 85, possibly, I don't know, I'm, I'm talking out of my ass when it comes to when that, that, release date is. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, I, I was kind of shocked that that album was so good, and knowing that they were touring in support of that record, of this re-recorded record, um, I was a little bit disappointed because, you know, I would like to have heard other songs from, like, later on in their career. Um, one of my favorite uh, tracks by them is um, The Air Conditioned Nightmare. Love that song. I would love, love, love to hear that performed live, but if, unfortunately they didn't play it, because of course they didn't. They mostly played songs from the new record, which, you know what, if that's what we're getting, it's still fucking great. Um, of course, the band that opened up this show, which was uh, at M. Tellus, formerly known as Metropolis. I still call it Metropolis when I'm talking to people, because that's a way cooler name than M. Tellus. Like, seriously, fuck your stupid phone company, I don't care. Um, that's a big problem that Montreal has, actually, is a lot of the venues getting bought up by big corporations and having their names changed, like Lastrell uh, is now Le Studio TD, Corona Theater is now Beanfield Theater, like, fuck off. Um, but yeah, so the first band that played was Battles. This was just a two-band bill, so it was just Battles and Mr. Bungle. And Battles is another band that I've been listening to for a really long time. They're uh, just kind of like an experimental, sort of instrumental, sort of not, art, rock, prog, I don't know, weird noise rock sort of thing. Um, I've seen videos of their live performances where uh, they're absolutely incredible. This time, though, it was just two members, um, one of which is actually the drummer from Helmet. Uh, don't criticize me for not remembering their names. I just don't know the names of the members of, of that band. Um, but yeah, I've seen videos with them where they have like, you know, four or five members on stage doing all the different instruments. But this time it was just the main songwriter who uh, has his guitar and a keyboard that, you know, he does loops on and then their drummer. So... I was a little bit disappointed that it was only the two members and that they don't have a, a, a bigger, more expanded lineup. But despite that, um, you know, they still put on a great show for what it was. They, of course, played Atlas, which is their most popular, well-known song. That song is fucking incredible. It's a catchy as fuck banger. Uh, I love that track. I also love the track Tonto from them, and they did not play that one, which was very disappointing as well. But for what it was... I enjoyed it, and I'm glad I got a chance to see Battles. I would absolutely go see them again if they came back, you know. Even when you see a band that you like, and they don't play all the songs that you want them to play, it's still a worthwhile thing to go do, I think. You know, they're still worth going and catching them live. Just for the experience of, you know, seeing these musicians that you look up to uh, absolutely shred and rip through uh, other material that you might not be as familiar with or that you might not like as much. Uh, and then, of course, it was Mr. Bungle, and I mean, what can I say, uh, pretty much the second they started, I was in the pit, like, for the whole show, it was, it was fucking awesome, just, like, relentless fucking thrash that sounds right out of the 80s, because most of it is, 
uh, with you know Scott Ian on guitar, Dave Lombardo on drums, and of course you know Mike Patton up there on the vocals. Um, the only thing with him is that it seemed like he was reading lyrics from a book, uh, which I felt was kind of odd and maybe took away from the performance a little bit. I'm not really sure what that was all about, if it was uh, him reading lyrics or more like if there was six if it was like a set list but like just like in a giant book like i don't know it was it was very strange he had it like up on a, a pedestal on a music stand and he was flipping through the pages as the set was going on so yeah i guess maybe he just didn't remember the lyrics uh i don't know it was it was odd but uh they did play my ass is on fire actually i th i think they did anyways um it was long enough ago now that i don't really remember if if they played that song or not they did play an older cut but i i couldn't tell you if that was the song or not i'm pretty sure it was um but yeah you know just being able to see a band as legendary as that um catch them live see mike Patton in the flesh still out there doing the crazy shit that he does it's fucking awesome i've seen uh you know scott ian and dave lombardo in their respective bands numerous times so it's always cool to see these same guys who are so well known and lauded in the metal community. Uh, again, also still out there doing the same shit, never ever giving up, just purely for the fucking love of what they're doing. It's it's awesome to see, and I I love it. So yeah, that was my experience seeing Mr. Bungle as well as Battles at Mtelus on September twelfth. Oh, sorry, Metropolis. Don't catch me with that. Uh, on September twelfth, back earlier this year. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.